I knew that you guys were going to find a director. I did not know you were going to find an, an Emmy award winning seasoned <laughs> uh, director who um, uh, was just, a, it was such a learning experience for me to watch her work and to watch her work in such an, a, um, a professional manner. Um, not one nanosecond of rehearsals are wasted with Mary Lou. <laughs> she, she, she works very, um, very uh, quickly and, and um, you know, is just incredibly experienced and talented. Um, I did not know that she would also be so generous with her time with me. So thank you for that. And that she would collaborate with me and um, bring me into the whole creative process of casting. And, um, you know, even while we were, were reading through it, you know, she would kind of stop sometimes and ask, you know, if that was where I had intended the scene to go. Um, so it was just an incredible experience. What is next with your relationship um, between I the ISA and Susan? What happens now? Well, Susan has been invited onto the development slate, which is our top tier rest roster of um, 175 writers now, Susan. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we'll be excited, I think, to take her work out. I mean, it depends what Susan wants to do. I mean, if there's a producer out there that's thinking, I need this script for myself, then, um, you know, Godspeed, you know, that's exactly what we would like. Other than that, we would be love to work with Susan. We have loads of contacts. We spent the last 18 months talking to uh, studios and production companies. And everyone is looking for a unique perspective and an original voice. And I think this script has both of those. So it's just, it's just the beginning for Susan. She thought, oh my goodness, I'm going to enter this contest and I'll, you know, might get something out of it. Now it's going to be, she's going to be plagued by all of us. I feel like Mary's going to be calling her, I'm calling her. Shana probably. They're all going to be, hey, Susan, she's going up at work, go away. <laughs> Advice to writers who are watching this? You know, um, I think uh, always take take advantage of, the, of what you get by hearing your words read aloud and by professional actors because they will enlighten, as this stunning cast did, um, what works, what can be improved, um, but um, Susan, you have something, you write so well about so many different generations. And I think this, this speaks to so many. And I want, I want young people to see this made as a movie. I want older people to see this as made as a movie. I want women to see this made as a movie, most especially, because your, your voice is unique. And um, as already pointed out by Felicity, the way you write is poetry. What advice do you have for other writers who are considering, um, you know, submitting to a table read my screenplay or any other contest like this that gives you the opportunity to hear your words out loud? Oh, hands down, um, <laughs> definitely do it. I um, submitted many different scripts over the last few years um, to this, to lots of competitions, but to this one too. And I've always kind of had my eye on this one. Like, <laughs> it's like, you know, this is this, I think I made it into like the top five or six um, in the past. And um, it it is invaluable to not just, I mean, it's invaluable to hear your words back, read out loud back to you. Um, even if it's just people in a writer's group, but to hear trained actors just, you know, sink their teeth into your characters is, it's so helpful for your, for the screenplay's growth and for your growth as a writer. And, um, you know, it's just a lovely experience <laughs> because, you know, it's like Hollywood is so, it gets so um, bogged down in, you know, development and production and, and it may never, um, become a movie, but this is almost like the next best thing <laughs> to, to seeing it become, um, to become an actual movie.